London Britain and the European Union on Friday cleared the way to start a crucial new round of talks on British withdrawal from the bloc, announcing a breakthrough after months of deadlock, an internal political standoff in London and a dispute over the future of the Irish border. The deal would avoid a hard border in Ireland, set Britain's divorce bill at between $47 billion and $52 billion, roughly double its original offer, and establish judicial protocols to protect the rights of the 3 million European citizens in Britain and the million British citizens in the European Union. Prime Minister Theresa May of Britain made a pre-dawn flight to Brussels to make the announcement with Jean-Claude Juncker, the European Commission President after she wrapped up tough negotiations with the small Northern Irish party on which her government depends. The accord still needs the approval of European Union leaders, but Mrs. May apparently convinced negotiators that enough progress had been made in talks on Britain's withdrawal from the bloc to move on to a new phase of difficult negotiations early next year. The agreement a rare step forward in the nearly nine months since Britain formally announced that it would leave the bloc, should allow the start of negotiations on future trade relations with the bloc, as well as on a period of transition for the time immediately after Britain's scheduled departure in March 2019, during which a full trade agreement can ideally be worked out. Mrs May came back to Brussels after several days of negotiations in London with the Democratic Unionist Party led by Arlene Foster, over language to rule out a so-called hard border between Northern Ireland, a part of the United Kingdom, and the Republic of Ireland, part of the European Union. Mrs May relies on the 10 votes that Ms. Foster's party has in Parliament. Mrs May had to break off talks earlier in the week when Ms. Foster suddenly objected to a draft British European Union statement on the border, while the government in Dublin was demanding pledges that there would be no reimposition of controls on the Irish frontier after Britain leaves the European Union. But a deal was worked out overnight, and Mr. Junker said the Commission was satisfied that sufficient progress has been made. While negotiators managed to finesse the Irish border issue to reach this agreement, the matter seemed far from settled. It will now go to trade negotiators, and Prime Minister Leo Varadkar of Ireland noted approvingly that there was now a backstop arrangement, in case they do not resolve the issue. Under that deliberately ambiguous formulation, Northern Ireland and perhaps all of the United Kingdom would maintain full alignment with European rules as needed to support North-South cooperation, the all-island economy and the protection of the 1998 agreement that ended the troubles in the north. The haziness surrounding the arrangement was cause for concern for Ms. Foster and the Democratic Unionist Party, who are determined above all to avoid a situation in which the rules governing Northern Ireland diverge from those for the rest of the United Kingdom. That direction, they fear, would ultimately lead to reunification with the South.